All right, my friends, today we're chatting about one of the most underrated CPA review courses that is currently out there. Jaeger CPA Review. So Jaeger, they've gone through some uh, significant changes lately and I decided that it was time to address them so that you can make an intelligent purchasing decision as you take the CPA exam. And we'll also be covering why I think Jaeger is one of the top choices out there for CPA candidates today. But I'll also share some of the weaknesses that I found as well. Now, before we get started, I do strongly urge you to complete the study personality quiz that I have link, li linked in the comment section in the video description below. Uh, so basically your quiz results, they will help you identify what you need in a CPA review course to study smart so that you can make a decision based on your personalized data and not just marketing buzzwords. So I also put up some discounts and a free demo that Jaeger has graciously given me to offer you in this video. So to claim them, click all the links that I have labeled below this video. Now, please understand that I do receive a small commission if you use the links below. So please only use them if the video review has helped you in your decision. And if you'd like to help support this ad free channel as well. Otherwise, just head to Google, do your own research and you know what to do. All right, so let's get started on the review. All right, future CPAs, welcome to Jaeger CPA Review. So this is their homepage here, and I just wanted to point out a couple things, um, as I, I'm sure you'll be doing your own little research on their homepage as well. So the first thing is, and I've talked to Phil Jaeger for a long time about this, is the AI CPA blueprint. So as you know, the blueprint is now what the CPA exam is based on. So if you understand the concepts that are taught from the blueprint, you will ace this exam. And what Phil and his team have done is created an entire course and textbook that will walk you step by step through everything that you need to know through the AICPA blueprint. And out of all the CPA review courses out there, it is definitely one of the best courses that I've seen in terms of presenting the material that's in the blueprint. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, the price point. We're looking at $13.99 for the full Jaeger CPA review course. And that includes everything, the flashcards, the cram course, the full CPA review course that walks you through the blueprint and um, thousands of multiple choice and simulations. So um, in terms of pricing, this is one of probably the most affordable CPA review course that gives you the most bang for your buck basically. And a little quick trick here. So if you look below this video, there is a link for a discount. So go ahead, click that link, then that'll take you to the homepage here. Click uh, buy now and then add to cart. And then this is the fun little trick here. So type in CPA guide, see what happens here. So we'll apply and boom, 200 bucks off the total price. So we're looking at a full, fully featured course for $1,214, including shipping. So, um, you know, that they obviously, they gave me this code to give to you guys for watching this video. So if this review has helped you, Go ahead, use the link below the video and my coupon code and save yourself 200 bucks. Um, but yes, I do get a little kickback from them. But hey, if I'm presenting valuable information to you, I, I try to sh give you as much information about this course as possible so that you can make an informed decision. So I'd be honored if you could use my coupon code. All right, so enough about that. Let's dive into the review. So the first step here is to click on the Get Started, select the course that you want to take, We'll start with FAR, and then, so what Jaeger does is they use what's called adapt pass which is their form of personalized learning. So based on the responses that you give here from these three options, it's going to tailor the whole functionality of the course. So for me, I personally am very confident in my study abilities. I am more of a self-studier. Um, I like to be tested on my studies often. And then I prefer, I, you know, I, I mean, I like the high level details, but I also like a little bit more um, to deep dive into the topics, but I don't want to get lost in the details. So I'll, I'll be right in the middle there. All right. And then you select when you're going to start studying, then the desired window. So for far, they recommend the second, first and second week of October, and then you click continue and then you create your course. So it's simple as that and it's totally customizable. So basically you kind of pick when you're going to, you plan to sit for the exam and then everything will be tailored for that date range that you select. All right, so here is the actual dashboard. So after you've purchased Jaeger, you log in, you go to the section that you're studying for. And of course you got FAR, REG, and ODD and uh, BEC. 
And as you can see here, each chapter is the primary heading of the AICPA blueprint. So you can literally go to the AICPA's website, download the blueprint, and this will literally walk you through the entire thing. And yes, it is a lot, you know, obviously FAR is the largest section, but there's a ton of information here and Jaeger does a great job of breaking it down for us and presenting it in an easy to follow format. Now, in addition to the blueprint, you also have these cram videos. So these are going to be uh, what you use right before you sit for any exam. Now, I definitely recommend if you're somebody who learns from watching videos, this is going to be very important. So it gives you a high level overview of everything that you need to know by chapter uh, for each section of the CPA exam. They also offer audio lessons. So if you have a commute, like studying during lunch, working out at the gym, whatever, you can download all the different lectures um, for uh, each section of the CPA exam and listen to them uh, on the go. Now, you'll be spending the majority of your time here in review, and we'll go over this in a little bit more detail, but you do all your quizzes, um, you use what the, is called the adaptive score, so you can monitor that here. Uh, there's flashcards, and then the exam simulator as well. So this is going to be when you cre recreate the real exam. Uh, they also have a game center, so this is kind of like a community-based thing, so uh, you can kind of jump in and uh, compete with some other people in the community. And then there's the message board. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but Jaeger has definitely some of the best customer support I have witnessed in the CPA review course industry. You are literally given access to call Phil himself, like the head instructor or anyone on uh, his team. And they'll uh, be via phone, email, or through this message board so that you can uh, chat with them and if you ever have any issues or feeling stressed out, they'll talk you talk you off the cliff, so to speak. So um, very, very personalized access to the instructors, which is unheard of in this industry. Okay, so let's dive back here into the content groups and then go into a sample. Uh, let's do revenue recognition. Revenue recognition, that's my favorite concept here. So we'll restart the lesson, clear progress and go from there. Okay. So as you can see here, um, we've got the video itself. We have some comprehension checks so you can answer these, click next and, um, go through them. Um, then there's the explanation and so forth. So this is basically, you can test yourself as you're going through the material. Uh, you also have, and I wanted to point this out. So I, Based on the, when we set up the course, based on my learning style, they decided I was more of a visual focus. So they basically set up this dashboard to cater to my needs. You can always change this. You can update your learning preferences if you uh, don't like how they have it set up, but it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so within the video itself, you can actually speed up the playback, um, which I do recommend you do depending on the instructor. So there's multiple instructors. Uh, it's not just Phil. And uh, I found that it's much easier to understand and follow some of the instructors if you speed them up, others if you slow it down, and so forth. So just play around with it. And uh, another thing is if you speed it up, it also cuts down the time you're watching video lectures. So if video lectures aren't really your thing to learn, you can speed them up, just get the basic idea, and then go off and teach yourself from the book and so forth. Uh, you can also make quick bookmarks and make notes within the dashboard. And something that's really cool here, and I'll play the video, is that the text automatically pops up for each video. So let's do that now. The payment terms of all transactions, and also if either party can unilaterally terminate the contract without compensation, or if the contract is wholly unperformed, there is no revenue. But if the contract is modified, it must be determined as a new contract or a modified existing contract, all right, which you account for the modification in the period of change and its prospective change with no change to prior periods or prior results. Now the second... Okay, so as you saw there, I was able to take notes. I could save the notes. And um, so here's the note right here. And it saved the time right when I clicked it. So Must it takes you right back. So um, this is important if there's a concept that you want to come back to. Um, you can do a quick bookmark or leave a note. Um, oh, and let me speed up the... Uh... As, a As a new, new contract, contract 
or a modified existing contract, all right, which you account for the modification. So again, if, if, if something is hard to follow, you can always speed it up or slow it down. The text automatically pops up so you know exactly where to go in your textbook, or you can do it all online. And something that I'll mention that is that this is a 100% um, online course, so uh, the only thing that I believe you can download is those are those audio lessons. Um, so you will need an internet connection if you do plan on watching uh, video lectures and so forth. But they do provide you with a printed textbook, so if you have the textbook with, a, with you, you can always go through that on your own time. Okay, so the next step here, let's hop over to review. So once you've watched the lecture, done the comprehension check, and you want to start diving into the actual uh, test bank, um, you can, let's see here, do a content group review. So let's go, well, let's see here. So essentially what Jaeger has done is that they've created, based on you, you know, the lectures you've watched, the quizzes that you've answered, the questions you've gotten wrong, the qu questions you've gotten right, they come up with... Um, and this is proprietary technology, they use, uh, uh, they come up with an adaptive score. So this score, obviously the higher the better, and they're going to rate how well they think your understanding of the content is. And then let's view a report here. So uh, obviously 54, that gets you a big old smile, or a frowny face. So you want to get that into a smiley face. So the way you do that is by continuing to answer questions, reviewing the textbook, watching lectures, and so forth, until they, uh, the, the system feels that you have a better understanding of this material. And then uh, what is great is that instead of having to sift through complex analytics of all the multiple choice questions you've done, they'll automatically identify your weaknesses for you, and then you can generate quizzes based on those weaker areas. Um, and they'll also identify your strengths once you've uh, completed enough work. So let's go, well, and let's see, let's take a look at an actual quiz. So you can generate um, quizzes based on this particular chapter. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll show you how to manually do it in a little bit. So this is a six question quiz. So um, basically you can flag, answer a question. So let's turn auto, so auto advance is when you answer it, it automatically goes to the next one. Let's do that and answer it here, but then we're not sure, so we flag it. And then we hop to the next one. And then uh, let's turn it back on and go answer that. Oops. Next, next. All right, we'll just submit the quiz now. So typically you'll wanna leave auto advance on and you can always go back to one uh, later. Okay, so now I got one correct, incorrect, unanswered. And then um, let's see here, let's take a look at the view the answer. So basically something that I look for every time I review a CPA review course is what are the explanations looking like for multiple choice questions? And this is really where you're going to be doing a lot of learning because um, you're going to see start seeing trends in the way that questions are asked, uh, the way that uh, you know formulas and journal entries and all that stuff. So you really need to pay attention to the explanations and truly understand why you got a question right or wrong and understand that you might have guessed on a multiple choice question and just gotten it wrong by accident. So don't forget about the ones that you got correct as, or as well. You want to double check you, that you uh, got the question right uh, for the right reason. So Jaeger does a great job of providing explanations. And since you know exactly what chapter this is all from, it's fairly easy to go back into the textbook and find the area and you can rewatch the video lecture or anything like that. Now, something I will say is that other CPA review courses, they do have links directly to their digital text and to their lectures, which is kind of nice. But again, it's pretty self-explanatory. The chapters aren't overly long. So literally all you'll have to do is open up your textbook and find the area that you need to uh, review if something does not make sense from one of these questions. Okay, so let's pop out into the review and then go to quiz generator. So this is where you manually create your own quizzes and then you can also add simulations into the quiz as well. So let's go ahead and we'll do 1B. We'll add simulations in there. 
um, let's see here, time limit. So you can specify a time limit if you want to recreate a more exam type experience. And then you can generate the quiz. Okay. So, oops, begin quiz. All right. So, again, Jaeger has really focused a lot of time on coming up with simulations that are going to mirror what you'll see on the CPA exam. And as you know, simulations are now 50% of your grade, no matter what section you're taking for the most part. And um, so it's really important to have an understanding of how simulations work. Um, and you shouldn't rely 100% anymore just on taking multiple choice questions because um, again, multiple choice questions aren't truly testing your understanding. It's more how well can you memorize and so forth. So simulations are truly testing your knowledge of the material, which is why it's so important to learn based on what's in the AICPA blueprint and nothing else because there's going to be a ton of information there and you don't want to uh, see a simulation and get thrown off because it's something you've never seen before. So um, basically, I think, let's go ahead and answer some of these simulations to see the explanations for them. So I'm just totally guessing here. And uh, let's see, bad expense. All right, that, that should be good enough. We'll go ahead and submit the quiz. And I'll show you what the explanations for the simulations look like. Okay. So again, they'll fill in what the correct answer is. And um, you'll, they'll also give you the explanation for it. Again, it's very important to have simulations that are going to be mirror what's going to be on the CPA exam because they are in such a focus. And Phil is well aware of this and he's going to take care of you. Uh, in terms of simulations and preparing you um, based on the content in the lectures and the textbook. All right, uh, let's head back to review. There's some more features there I wanted to chat about. So flashcards, um, so these are fairly useful. Um, they aren't broken out by blueprint, so I'm hoping in the future that that happens. So basically what I would recommend is that you use these once you've gone through all the lectures and have a basic idea of everything that's covered and then you can use these as more of a final review. So basically, um, it's all digital. You come in, here's the question, you click, there's the answer, next card. Then you can flip it, you can flag the current card, then you can go to take only uh, questions that you flagged, and then you can shuffle them and so forth. So again, it, it's pretty, pretty useful. I would like some sort of identifier to know what chapter this came from or so something like that. It would be kind of nice to know. Um, but again, as a final review, um, it's really handy to have um, these flashcards. All right, so let's look at the exam simulator. So this will basically recreate what you'll experience on the real exam, just with a couple minor differences. So you can enter a confirm code and then begin the exam. Okay, so right off the bat, you'll notice you have four hours to complete this. Uh, you have your calculator. Um, let's see here. And then, so what they don't do is they don't break, break things out into testlets. So um, as you know with FAR, I believe there's 66 multiple choice questions. And then there will be, um, let's see, uh, one, eight, yeah, eight simulations. So basically, you know, you'll, you'll know that uh, you can split up the testlets on your own, take your breaks as, as need be and so forth, and um, the timer... Uh, uh, will go. Um, so something that I hope they implement is the break because I know the break is really important and I would recommend taking it. So I don't believe there's a way to ta uh, pause the timer. But overall you get the basic functionality and you can use your own clock if you want. Um, but basically you'll go through, answer them, you can flag them as need be. And then as you go towards the end here you're going to have uh, your simulations. So something else I noticed is that the uh, authoritative li literature is not built into their course yet, but they do uh, provide you with access to a free searchable authoritative literature. Um, so uh, basically, it's, you, you have it, it's just outside of the course. So not too big of a deal, and I'm sure that they'll uh, have that up and running soon. Okay, so then there's the exam. We can view the results, retake the exam, or delete it, whatever you want to do. So again, uh, basically at the end of the day, Jaeger 
gives you everything you need to pass the CPA exam because they're going to walk you through the blueprint. So as long as you understand what's in the blueprint, have done enough questions, got your adaptive score up to a uh, good level, you should be good to go. Now, uh, there are a couple other features here like the game center, which uh, personally, I probably wouldn't use this. Um, it's just kind of fun to hop into a lobby and take some uh, qu uh, questions against other people. Um, but the real strong feature here is the community, being able to talk to an instructor in person on the phone or through email or on this message board here. And let's hop in here to one of these. Um, let's see. So yeah, so typically, you know, you, you got somebody asking a question here on June 3rd, and then the response was on June 4th, which let me look up the dates on that. Um, so the third was a Sunday, so it makes sense that within 24 hours you get a response from uh, Steve at Jaeger. Um, so again, a very active message board. You're going to get a question uh, answered very quickly. So, all right, so at this point, let's go ahead and chat about the pros and cons and who I think should use Jaeger CPA review course. All right, so in terms of people who should use Jaeger CPA review course, um, I would recommend that at, say you fail the section of the CPA exam and you need some fresh multiple choice questions, a fresh look at how to study for the CPA exam, Jaeger's a perfect fit for you. It's affordable, it comes with great video lectures, an excellent uh, textbook, and plenty of fresh multiple choice questions you've never seen before in simulations. So if you're coming from a different CPA review course, Jaeger is absolutely for you. Um, now, if you're a brand new CPA candidate, uh, if you are somebody who needs video lectures to learn, um, you know, you're, you learn well in a classroom setting, this is a great opportunity. Um, or if you're more of a self-studier, this is also a good option for you because you can, um, you know, flip through the lectures as uh, quickly, head into the textbook, and then if something's just not making sense to you, you can always access the message board or contact uh, one of the instructors if you have questions and the video lectures can't answer the question. So again, uh, really, this course is perfect for any CPA candidate who wants to learn everything about the AICPA blueprint so that you can ace this exam. And at $13.99, you really can't beat the price. And again, there's that link right below this video where if you go into buy now and then add to cart and use my coupon code, which is, I'll type it in again, CPA guide, and then you can apply, boom, 200 bucks off the total price. So really $1,200 for video lectures, printed materials, multiple choice questions and simulations, plus flashcards and a cram course, you really can't beat that price. Now, is Jaeger CPA review perfect? Uh, not quite. It definitely has a few things that could probably use some work. Uh, so for example, the flashcards, they're, they're just lumped together by section. So you're gonna get a bank of 400 um, flashcards that aren't in any particular order. So it would be nice if they were broken out, but again, it's a great final review tool once you've already been through all the material and just need a quick uh, review of everything. Um, it would also be nice if the multiple choice questions and simulations, if they had a link that could quickly get you to uh, the topic that was discussed in the explanation. Um, but you know, really understand that each question is labeled by chapter, so it really isn't that hard to get to that relevant topic. So it's not definitely not a deal breaker by any means. Um, and then let's see, I found that, so Jaeger CPA Review, they have, let's see, I believe it's four or five different lecturers. Um, I did find that some instructors, they made more sense whenever you sped them up. Maybe they are less experienced or just not quite as confident, but when you speed them up, it, it, it they're not so careful with their words, it feels like. And I was able to follow them much better. So I do recommend experimenting with speeding up, slowing down, and so forth, if need be. Um, let's see here. And another thing I noticed is that Jaeger, um, they offer 18 months access to the software. And again, you really can't complain that it's only 18 months considering the price. And they do have um, options to extend it to 24 months, depending on when you sit for exams. And you can also get a three month extension if you end up failing a section using their course, which is really nice as well. Um, so just so you're aware, there are other courses that offer unlimited access until you pass, but you will be paying a premium uh, for that. And the, I would say the majority of CPA candidates can pass the exam in 24 months or less. Uh, I personally failed to see, I believe it was seven sections in total, and I was able to pass within 24 months. So um, it should be more than enough time for you.
All right, so what do I really like about this course? So here's some of the, the pros for sure. So again, the AICPA blueprint, every single course needs to walk you through these blueprints so that you truly understand the underlying information. And I believe that Phil and his team have done a wonderful job of that. So that is a huge selling point for me and for you as well. Uh, they also offer a strong test bank um, that is full of multiple choice questions and simulations that are relevant. So you're not going to be bombarded with a bunch of questions that aren't relevant anymore. Um, they're updated every quarter, I believe, along with the test book or the textbook as well. And they also provide explanations that make sense and help you understand the material. Um, I also found that, as I mentioned before, best student support in the industry with direct access to instructors, which is really unheard of in this industry. Um, and it also comes with uh, study supplements like cram courses and flashcards, which are a definitely a nice added bonus for the price point. And overall, this is probably the most affordable, fully featured CPA review course that you will find in the industry. So again, thanks for watching. Um, I had a ton of fun putting this review together and chatting with Phil himself. I know he's put together a great course for you, and I really hope that you can consider using it, especially if you're somebody who is interested in learning more about the AICPA blueprint, which every CPA candidate should. So thanks again for watching. And again, uh, feel free to use my coupon code CPA guide if this review has helped you. And I've provided all the necessary links, a free trial, and uh, my study personality quiz directly below this video. So check it out. And I'll talk to you later.